Hello everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and this is word exercise number three. Now, in class, this is a kind of an on-your-own test sort of assignment. Um, but here's a video to show you exactly how to do everything that I'm asking you to do in this document step by step. So if you get uh, hung up or you just can't figure something out, you can refer to this video and it will help you um, finish the assignment. So first step is to open Word Exercise 3 Starter.docx, which I've done here. I've opened that up. Now, uh, it says do not add a header or footer. Uh, by the time we're done with this document, there will be no room, so we're not going to add those. Margins. So I want to change my margins to narrow. But I want to hit Control A to select everything. Or I can just go down here to the bottom or the top, and I can scroll through the document grabbing everything. Then I'm going to go to my page layout, go to margins, and I'm going to hit it, hit narrow. Okay. Um, now, if you didn't select everything, if you just went ahead and changed your margins, you might get something weird like this. So we want to make sure we control A and narrow everything. Okay, good. Text formatting. We are going to change the text here. We're going to grab the date and the title, and we are going to center it. <clears throat> and then we want to change the size of the title to 24 and the size of the date to 16. So I'm going to triple click on my title, change that to 24, change my date to 16. And then I'm going to italicize the date when I'm done. So I'll hit the little italics button. Boom. Okay. Text effects. So the text effects up here, um, they're going to be in a different place on yours. Uh, I'm using an older version of Microsoft Word. Um, but it should be in, in relatively the same area, in the font area. So I can choose whatever effect that I like. Um, I will go ahead and pick, uh, I'll choose this cool gradient fill purple with the reflector, with the reflection. You can choose whatever one you want, whatever you think looks good. And we're going to pick a font that works well. We'll go with Berlin Sands, why not? All right. Already on to number five, Format Painter. So I want to highlight my title, and I want to use the Format Painter on my title, and then apply that to birthdays. Now, it's going to drop it in the center, and it's going to make it big, and it's going to apply the text effects. Um, but I don't want it to be big, and I don't want it to be centered. So I'm going to push it back to the left, and I am going to change it down to 14. Now... I can hit my Format Painter again, paint it over this month's big news, hit Format Painter again, and paint it over Story Inspiration. Now we have all of our big headers ready to go. Alrighty. Now I want to highlight my title and my date because I'm going to put a nice... Oh, sorry about that. Control-Z if you mess up. Remember that. I want to highlight my title and my date because I want to put a nice border around this. Now, this is not page borders. This is borders um, for the text itself. And that's right up here uh, in your paragraph section. So I can go here and I can choose a border that I want, or I can go to borders and shading, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's do a 3D border. And I'm going to make the color this nice purple that I have. We'll do purple. And then I want to go to shading, and I want the background to be a lighter purple. Let's do the super light purple. And I'm going to click OK. And that looks pretty nice. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep it that way. Um, all right. So that's my border. And then... No, 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 no. Dot leaders. Oh, we did this last time. Um, I want to highlight all of the areas in my birthday section. And then I want to go to my tabs. So remember, I click here, and then click tabs, and I go over here. And I want to change it to 3 with a left dot leader. So let, left, and a dot leader. I'm going to click set and select OK. And it's going to automatically apply that to all this information. And I'm going to get rid of this extra space. All right, on to number eight. 
So insert a text box. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my document and I want to go to insert and text box. And I'm just going to do a simple text box. And then I'm going to expand it so it takes up the entire bottom of my document. So, oh, the entire bottom of my document. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right. And I'm going to push it down all the way to the very bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to copy. I'm actually going to cut this. Put it right in here. And I will just paste. Okay. All right cut and paste and then resize the text box so it covers the bottom of the page <clears throat> with the box highlighted go to the drawing tools I'm actually gonna bring this down just a little bit further so it's at the bottom I'm gonna go to my drawing tools which is up here in my contextual tab and then I can choose a let's see change the shape fill to the gradient of your choice so I go to shape fill and I can go to gradient and these are all gray gradients because I have no color so I'm going to choose a color first so I'm going to choose this purple color and then when I go back to shape fill and go to gradients now I have these purple gradients that I can choose and actually we'll do that and I'm actually going to change the color to a little bit darker purple and then I will go back to gradient and change it to that bottom gradient nice okay now I don't want my margins to be so um, close down here on the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to view and show my rulers and then up here make sure I have this selected up here if I drag these over to about half an inch actually I gotta make sure I have the text selected not the box now when I drag over it will push over everything to about half an inch and I'll make sure that it's good over here as well which it should be okay now it lines up nicely Now, well, my documents, or my instructions say the one inch, so let's go ahead and push it to the one inch. Why not? Might as well keep in pace with my instructions. Okay, so now we have that little section on the bottom done. Now we want to insert an online picture. So I'm going to go up here and insert, and then... I only have options for picture. Um, let's maximize this. I only have option for picture. Um, you're going to have online picture right next to picture, but I don't have that option. So I'm just going to select picture and hmm, I haven't looked for any yet. Let me go ahead and do a, you know what? I'm just going to dump whatever picture in there. How about a reindeer picture? Why not? So Santa is my, uh, online picture. I'm going to scale them down, scale them down, and then I'm going to change my um, I'm going to change my wrapping to type. So go back to picture tools, go to wrap text, change it to type, and I'll move it so that it's not in the way of anything. And I'll make them just a little bit bigger. Why not? Make them just a little better, bigger. Put them right there. Okay? And I want to add a picture style to it. So I'm going to go to my picture styles, and I'll find one that looks good. And let's see. I like that. I like this. I like... Which one do I want? Do I want the sideways? i got to make sure it's not in the way of anything. We'll do that guy right there. That looks good to me. Okay. So my picture style is ready. 
um, columns. So I'm going to highlight all of the text from this month's big news all the way down through this. And I want to make two columns out of this information. So I'm going to go to Page Layout, Columns, and click Two Columns. Now it's going to make two columns. And I'm going to make my picture just a little tinier and push it up just a little bit more. All right, so it's going to make two columns out of my out of my uh, uh, newsletter. And then we're going to insert a shape, a line to go down the middle. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go to shapes and I'll grab just a line and I will draw from up here all the way down. Now if you hold shift while you're drawing, it'll actually make your shape straight. So I'm going to go all the way down to there and I'll move him over just a little bit so he's kind of in the middle. Oh. So he's in the middle. And then I will apply a line effect to it to make it look good. We will go with this guy and we will make it we will make it this purple color so that it looks good and we can apply effect to it if we want I'll make it glow cool okay so now we have a shape in the going down the middle okay now I want to insert a caption on my picture click my picture go to references here and then choose insert caption and I want to where it says figure one I want to type in a made up caption so reindeer okay and then click OK and then I can get rid of figure one here and then increase the font size a couple and then change the color so right here text color change it to this cool purple there we go and italicize it okay and then I want to add another picture up here a drawing of some sort so we're gonna go ahead and insert picture and sure we'll do that one that looks good okay oop that's way too big so let's shrink that down and I wanna make sure my wrap is to be in front of text and I'm gonna shrink it down even further and it's gonna go like right over here okay Good, good, good. Now I am done. Now you can do, if you have some time, you can spend some more time working on this to make it better. For instance, um, I would like to probably add more information down here. Bring this stuff over this way, move it over, do whatever. But basically when you're at this point, you are finished. You can go ahead and save your assignment and turn it in on Google Classroom. All right. Have a good time.